Well, what's up folks? I'm Nick with Motor Quad Squad and today we're going to talk about reversing your motors to reverse your yaw. Now, uh, there's a lot of hypes in this hobby and I'm slowly working one by one to either dispel or confirm them myself because I don't like to place judgment unless I know for sure. Now typically our props rotate like this and the theory here is by spinning this direction when you hit something you're going to throw the quad into it, throw it into your camera and, and essentially get stuck. By changing to a backwards rotation like so, you're essentially throwing the air out and around the quad and any obstacles you hit get simply pushed to the outside. Now, granted this is a little bitty tiny prop and you really wouldn't think there'd be a whole lot of pr pressure behind it, but you know, I've been flying this 4R for about two days now like this and I've had some seriously bad moments where I should have crashed, but it worked. So. The downside here is it throws all that grass and whatever you hit into the side of your frame, but it doesn't get gunked on your camera and you don't get stuck as easily. So low hanging branches, little tree branches, that kind of thing, it kind of just shoves them out of the way. So I'm going to warn you guys of the process with my iX5. It's very simple, but the very first thing we have to do, have to do, is take the props off because you will be spinning motors to test them. Next, you're going to take your quad and plug it into BL Heli Suite. And you're going to go to connect and you're going to go over to the motors tab. About this point, again, take your props off. You're going to plug in your battery. Your quad will power up. And then on the motors tab, you're simply going to click that you understand your propellers are removed and click your master switch. You don't have to drag it, just click it. Now, if you press the up arrow, it'll slowly begin to apply throttle, usually about 115 area. The motors are spinning smoothly. Once the motors are spinning smoothly, you're going to go and gently place your finger on it. You can feel what direction they're rotating. Now, I've already done this one, so they're all rotating the correct direction. If you need to rotate them or swap them around, drag your master down to zero, disconnect, go to your BL Heli Suite, connect, hit read, and then whenever you see this screen, Select the motor that needs to be changed, so for this example, number one, and then change it to either reversed or normal, the opposite of whatever it's doing. You don't want to go all the way over to bi-directional. Once you have what you need, you'll click right, and then disconnect. It'll restart. Go back to beta flight, connect, back to your motor tab. I understand, and then run your master tab, whoop, run your master slider up, and then double check to make sure everything's spinning correctly. So once you have that, you're halfway done. Drag your master tab back to zero. Go to your CLI. You're going to type get yaw, G-E-T-W-A-Y, and it'll output all the stats for yaw. Now right here, yaw control direction is not the right setting. Uh, I've done two or three different little guides, and they all have that one changed. That's not correct. You need to go to yaw motor direction, and you're going to copy that command. And then where you write, you're going to type set, paste that command, and you're going to change it to negative 1. Positive 1 is the normal rotation. Negative 1 is the opposite rotation. So you'll type in negative 1, hit enter, save it, it'll reboot, and now you're ready to go. It's that simple. It's not hard at all. It's a quick, easy settings change, and realistically, it it's not game-changing by any means, but it works well, and I have noticed that whenever you clip branches and run into things, it kind of just pushes it off. So... Give it a try. If you like this tutorial, please like it, share it, and y'all have a great day and fly great.